Hey everyone, a while ago I did a Power Wheels video on how to convert a Power Wheels to an M18 battery power supply using a buck converter. And in the meantime, a lot of you all have commented that it wasn't outputting enough power when you tried to go uphill or off-road. And I have a solution to that. Unfortunately, it's because the manufacturer of the buck converter changed the product without making any changes to the product listing. So I finally got to the bottom of this when my coworker and fellow engineer Alex tried to do the same conversion on his daughter's power wheels and he bought the same kit, followed everything I did and it wouldn't work for his daughter's car. So we kind of started troubleshooting back and forth. I made sure he had all the settings right and finally I brought one of my spare buck converters in, that's this one, and he compared it with his existing one and found out they were different. So here are the two buck converters side by side. The one I bought is right here. The one my coworker bought is here. The first thing you can see, there are way more windings on the inductor and they appear to be a slightly smaller wire diameter. So this is going to be higher resistance, both because of the wire diameter and the more windings, but you're going to have better performance on induction. Another thing you'll notice on the three capacitors on the front here, uh, they changed those. They're both 35 volts, but these ones over here are 270 microfarads, and these ones over here are 330. I'm not an electronics expert, but overall this one appears to be much better connected and soldered than the other one is. My coworker also used a power supply bench tester, uh, and his topped out at set at 12 volts. It topped out at 10 amps and wouldn't do any more. That's only 120 watts. And these are sold as 300 watt units. He put mine on there. It ran up to 14 amps at 12 volts and it maxed out the power supply he was using. So this one is far superior. Unfortunately, it's not made anymore. There is some good news though. If you bought the two pack off of Amazon, even with the new ones. If you wire both of these in parallel between the battery and the vehicle power input, you can still get enough amperage out of both of them together that it will work. So a big thanks to Alex for troubleshooting the low power conditions with these buck converters. I am really sorry. I have no control over the manufacturer switching out their product. I will link to the original ones I purchased so you know which ones don't output enough power. The good news is if you have bought that two pack already, you can connect them in parallel and get enough power out of it to run a Power Wheels.